Um, August 7, uh, 2000, we worked on feature 613 and removed um, some of the floors, uh, very burnt and scorched soil uh, that were um, on the bottom and on the sides of the feature, found the rim on the western side of it and found some more of the small stakes, stake holes that we have seen before around this feature and they're closer to the to the heart. Then on platform 169 uh, we moved completely uh, the fire installation that was towards the south wall and we are at the bottom of it now and started removing the floor level which should be the last of the D floor uh, and the beginning and also the C floor partially. These are all the packings um, on the platform which are sitting on the nice white floor that we I don't know exactly which face it belongs to. Uh, then the work continued in the center of the house and uh, feature 606 and this is where we uh, remove the portion, uh, remaining portions of east-west uh, control profile and then uh, saw the larger cut in the central space which we could see earlier it was smaller size now it's larger size when we remove, once we removed the bulk and we also have a, a very nice fire installation uh, which oh, it might not even be fire installation but some other feature with a floor covered with a thin layer, black layer, and then thicker black uh, compacted remains on top of that. And in the middle of it is a, a, a block left for micromorphology. Uh, then in the burial, in the uh, feature platform, uh, feature six, uh, 162, continued excavating the burial where we had the scattered bones and um, have discovered that most of them are going towards the the bones are still visible in in the fill, but they're sort of going towards the north, which means that we have to enlarge the area of the excavation, which coincides actually with the, the cut that we can see from the floor. Uh, and then in feature six uh, three one, uh, we finished drawing it. Basha finished drawing the sections of it, so tomorrow we'll start removing uh, the lid on top of the burial that's next to it. In the pit, uh, post retrieval pit feature 602, uh, yesterday um, Anne-Marie and Wendy were uh, scraping the, the sides, the walls of the pit in order to decide where to take the sample, micromorphology sample, and then they so a very nice um, remains of uh, stake holes or stakes where the stakes were put vertically and uh, went through uh, the plaster floor at the bottom. At the bottom we can see how they went and deformed the plaster floor and that's where they are pointed. And then they were filled uh, during that action or later on were filled and packed with remains of uh, uh, plaster and, um, and bricky soil. In the space 158, in the south of it, we uh, highly continued, continued emptying the cut. Um, and then once we emptied the cut, we could see that in the middle of it is a big stone tool, which is a ground stone tool, probably fragmented and deposited as part of the fill in this cut that was uh, an earlier cut in this space and uh, made before uh, and filled before um, the shoring wall was put on top of it. And then going towards the very end of the south end of the space, we see that uh, the oven floor is there exposed even more than before and the oven went all the way to into the uh, west wall, or in this case, late west wall. And then we can also see that the edge of the oven, or rather the, the, uh, yeah, the, the west edge of the oven was made also of convex, convex bricks. And here is an example of one which is still in place there. 
and uh, uh, the niche feature 607 was uh, deposited right on top of this oven. Now this oven is uh, strange in the sense that it was in the very uh, southwest corner of the building, which is sort of an unusual place for it, and also that it belongs to uh, the most likely to the period when the internal wall feature 161 was not here, but this was large open space, or the internal walls were different than these ones that we see today. In the north uh, part of space 158, uh, the west wall, late west wall, feature 622, we continued removing the bricks and we went down quite consider considerably and close to the remains of an earlier floor and earlier wall plasters which are under the bricks of this wall, feature 622. And behind that, in space 85, the midden, we continued excavating the midden, and if it not, wasn't for this packet and this bag in front of me, we could see the nice stripes of uh, different deposits in the midden that really uh, slump in under the same angle as the roof that we have had in this house earlier. And the last is the uh, screen wall, the northern pillar of the screen wall, which is feature 156, and we started removing the, the late addition on this pillar, and its situation is very interesting. What we can see from the west towards the east, as we look at it, we can see that on the left-hand side, there is a series of bricks and mortars that uh, uh, seem to be part of the internal wall, which is feature 160. And uh, on the right-hand side, we have a, a combination of some large brick fragments and also a rubble that was uh, put uh, around this feature that is an earlier screen wall, which we are trying to delineate from the rest of it that w went like this and we still have plasters preserved here and that wall, earlier wall probably went like that but we have not cleaned here properly yet so we don't see it and then went all around like that and we can see on the top surface in two places, large places with um, remains of the red color, the same one as on the a wall uh, on on the eastern face of this wall. And my interpretation of this situation is that um, this is the late makeup basically of the uh, pillar for the screen wall. And most likely the internal wall is also later addition because it seems that the internal wall bricks uh, go on top of the rubble that was that was a part of later addition to uh, the pillar. So this is the rubble and this is the the wall and uh, in some instances this wall bricks go on top of the rubble. So it means that they were probably made at the same time uh, or, or at least the wall was made up at the same time as this addition, rubble addition was added to the pillar and because at that time it was arranged deliberately so that they overlap slightly.